The number of Holocaust survivors is dwindling now, but one man was only an adolescent when he was sent to one of those infamous camps. Today, he is a history teacher of sorts, telling area students his horrifying and at the same time life-affirming story. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judy. My name is Sidney Sevek Finkel, and I'm so happy that you're watching this video. What I want to do is to tell you a story because that's all I have is just a story. And it's not about the man you see standing before you. It's a story about Savak, who's a little boy, eight years old when this whole thing begins. He lives in a country called Poland in a town called Piotrku Trybunalski. Everything for us changed completely when we moved into the ghetto. First of all, there was no longer any school. I had stopped my education in second grade. Uh, my, we had to work. My mother was sewing on a star, the yellow star of David, on my coat, and I didn't even know what it was. I thought maybe it was some kind of a medal or something I could be proud of, but it had the letter J on it, and uh, it identified me as, as a Jew. The ghetto was closed in, and uh, you couldn't go outside. Food was very scarce. What was really troubling us the most is what we were seeing further south of us, maybe a hundred miles on the railroad line. There were other ghettos larger than ours, and what we're seeing is that the Nazis bring these cattle cars, the freight cars, and the whole population of these ghettos, women, children, young, old, they're all being pushed into these cattle cars. Trains take off, and we don't know where they're going. But the Nazis in our hometown, they tell us we shouldn't be worried. That where these trains is going is going to be a transit camp, a work camp, and the conditions there are going to be good. And they also tell us that our turn is going to come too. But then we hear rumors, we hear terrible rumors. People have escaped from those camps and they came back and they tell us like most horrendous, unbelievable story. They tell us that where these trains are going is a place called Treblinka and that all the people in those trains are, are quickly moved out and they put put like in, in, in thinking that they're going to go take a shower they put into hermetically sealed huts and that the gas is introduced into the huts and these people die. But do you think we believe them? No, no we didn't believe them because you know, we knew the Germans as being very civilized people, you know, maybe the most civilized people in the world, and that they wouldn't do such a thing. We just couldn't bring ourselves to believe it, but, you know, re reality kind of went, got through us, and we were frightened. We were very, very frightened. <laughs> 